If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mine. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, V Chain family. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. Guys, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you never miss a V-Chain or a Cardano video. We got these videos every day. You don't want to miss them. I got my hot tea and honey, a lot to load it, ready to go. Let's get this show started. We've got the wonderful Eisen right here talking about PwC AirTrace. Looks like V-Chain has been selected and shortlisted for a sustainable finance challenge. Let's take a look. BIS Innovation Hub and Bank of Italy announced the shortlist for their G20 Green and Sustainable Finance Challenge. Airtrace Climate Smart PwC was among the finalists. 21 teams have been shortlisted for in the G20 Tech Spirit competition. Out of 99 submissions from teams worldwide, the judging panel includes private and public sector experts in the field of financial sector data and technology. The initiative highlights potential of new technology to tackle challenges in green and sustainable finance. In May, the BIS Innovation Hub and the Bank of Italy published three high priority operational problems and invited the international community of innovators, entrepreneurs, developers, data scientists, and designers to help innovate technological solutions. 89 teams from more than 25 countries submitted 99 innovation solutions for these problems using the dedicated code motion platform for registering and online judging. <clears throat> 21 have now been shortlisted by a panel of representatives of a green finance data consultancy firm appointed by the BIS invited to showcase their prototypes at a workshop in August for feedback from a national authorities and experts. This is pretty cool guys. So 21 out of 99 people were shortlisted and we've got VChain's Air Trace Climate Smart by PwC. This is pretty awesome. And uh, our platform as a service, well, our product as a service platform enables rapid development iterations based on a low code environment. We talked about that yesterday. This is pretty cool guys. So shout out to VChain, shout out to PwC. And shout out to the G20 Green and Sustainable Finance Challenge. Moving on. This is a wonderful article about Proof of Authority 2.0. Um, it's kind of long. We're not going to read the whole thing, obviously. But uh, let's take a look at some of the little blurbs and highlights. So the roadmap for the Proof of Authority 2.0 is significant milestones of the project as the V-Chain Foundation is expected to get rid of trade-offs from the Byzantine fault tolerance and the Nakamoto consensus algorithm used by other cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. The new upgrade is expected to enable Thor to leverage and operate at optimal capacity with guaranteed data submissions. It's pretty cool. The Proof of Authority 2.0 update has been given an acronym SURFACE, which means Secure Use Case Adaptive Re Relatively Fork a Free Approach of the Chain Extension. The consensus algorithm is an essential aspect of every public network. Upgrades on its main net have been carried out most cautiously, and this will be done on the VChain Thor network one step after another. It's never going to be a one-off upgrade. If it is, then it is the wrong approach. A lot of cool milestones are coming in. Devs are working hard. The Proof of Authority 2.0 met its hype in the VeChain community. Core developers completed the security and stress test before the public test net was deployed on July 13th. However, several arguments have surged regarding the increase in the potential of high use cases and user adoptions as being an effective method for improving VeChain's price. VeChain will follow Bitcoin, so we need not worry about that. Guys, 
proof of authority will be coming soon. And I think that that will not only a boost the price of each chain, but um, I think that we'll see a lot more decentralized applications coming on V chain, a lot more projects. Uh, Vex Exchange will be fired up and ready to go. V chain definitely has a bright future. We're just patiently waiting. Um, and we're moving on. V Punk Token is going ham right now, guys. <laughs> I can't believe it. Almost eight, it hit eighty cents, darn near. Well, close to eighty cents, uh, but now it looks like it's about a little bit under seventy cents here. Um, it was literally created. This token was literally created a couple weeks ago, and uh, it's going straight up. So, congratulations to the V Punks ecosystem um, on the V Punks marketplace. I don't think there's a V Punk that's less than you know 10,000 V chain. So this is a wildly successful project. V Pets is coming out soon. Can't wait for that. Um, they did a they actually did a drop yesterday. I believe I didn't do a video yesterday. Sorry about that, guys. But I had to take a sip of tea there. Congratulations to VPU V Punks and V Punk Token. Don't forget, guys, I created a whole um, tutorial on how to stake your V-Punk, how to gain VPU, all that stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check out that video. But yeah, VPU is definitely going ham, and we're moving on. Before we move on too quickly, I wanted to give you guys proof. Look at this, V-Punk's token, 68 cents. This is crazy. Last time we checked in on it, it was 15 cents. So, <laughs> literally going crazy right now. Congratulations to those guys. Um, and also, VPU has been added to the list of VChain tokens on the uh, Sync Wallet and the VChain mobile wallet as well so congratulations to them still going strong literally going parabolic so that's always good to see and lastly guys we have another nft product on the v chain thor ecosystem this is called world of v this is an nft trading card collection featuring v chain let's take a look so this is the genesis 2021 collection and it is a set of 200 unique NFTs, uh, one uh, 10,000 in, in total at price of 800 V chain each. Um, so they will have a mint number that will extinguish distinguish it from the others, including a combination of digital art and collectibles with a value hierarchy determined by both the creator and the consumer of the artwork. World of V is a unique project. And the first of its kind running on the VeChain Thor network in the scope of World of V, it is to create a unique community that will allow collectors to be a part of the exclusive club. Holding a World of V NFT will serve as a special ticket to have the possibility to take part in various exclusive projects. So each World of V generates World of V tokens available for purchase directly on the site. And these are the NFTs here. <clears throat> it looks pretty beautiful. I'm not even going to sit here in front. These cards do look really nice. Let's take a look at the entire gallery here. These are some beautiful NFTs. Mm. Is that chicken? That looks delicious. I'm just really hungry right now, guys. You gotta forgive me. Ooh, what are those? Is that dumplings? Where's Bahrain? Bahrain? Ooh. Benin? Belgium? Bhutan? Yeah, these NFTs are pretty lit. I'm not even gonna lie. They're 800 V-Chain apiece. Um, 
And also, let's take a look at when the pre-sale is, just in case you guys are interested. The pre-sale will start on September 19th at 4 p.m. GMT. Alright guys, so if you're interested in this, September 19th, 4 p.m. GMT. Um, they're 800 V-Chain a piece. You gotta connect your wallet to register. Um, you whitelist your, your wallet on September 5th, so it happened yesterday. And then on the 19th, uh, that's the end of the whitelist. I believe you send 800 V-Chain here. And then, well, you send the amount of V-Chain you want for the amount of NFTs that you want. It's 800 V-Chain a piece. And uh, you get your NFTs to your wallet. So, definitely pretty interesting. I think these NFTs are really cool looking. And uh, let me know what you guys think down below. All right, guys, we've got 931 days to the next Bitcoin block having, and things are looking pretty tasty. Nothing too crazy right now. Bitcoin is definitely above $51,000. This is definitely good to see on our way back up to 60K. A little bit slower this time, which means that hopefully it'll be more sustainable. And once we get back up to 60K, guys, I think that we're going to start to see a lot of these coins really rise. And hopefully we can start to see some of these coins recover from um, their all time highs. So V chain's doing well, sitting at 15 cents. Still have a price target of a dollar V chain at the end of the year. Hopefully that is still the case. OMG network going up almost 25% today. The bull run is still occurring, guys, all right? So that's all I have for you today, guys. I love you all so much. Don't let your memes be dreams. We'll talk to you soon with the Cardano updates so you don't want to miss it. Have a good day, guys. Bye.